Division matchup. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 20 wins, two losses, and one draw. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Suara Para Brazil, Davison Dodeguera Figueiredo. And now introducing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 23 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of the tall Brazil, Jussier Formiga! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. I can't wait to see how this fight plays out because he told us on Thursday that despite his opponent's submission acumen, he's more than willing to engage him on the ground. A lot of times, guys fight with their ego. They try to go and fight their opponent in their spot. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, well timed with the knee to the head. Knee to the body. Oh! Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Nice. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And those knees aren't just for effect, those are doing real damage. Watch knees to the body. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Davis and Figueredo. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on the bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Back to the feet. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Formiga gets hit with that elbow. You don't want to take too many more of those. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Just over two minutes to go in the round. 
Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Fighters back to their feet here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Plus oh, right hand is transition to the ankle pick. Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. He's got the turtle in that kick. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him coming high. And now he's got him hurt bad. His opponent's got him with the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice knee to the midsection there. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, round two. all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, they'll fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat of getting taken down, so he is just letting those knees fly. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, feet on the hips here. Keep it busy from bottom position here. Oh man, this guy's got elbows for days, huh? He throws them up, he throws them across the body. He just has a variety of elbow attacks. Trying for a submission now. Nicely done. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Oh, nice work as he delivers the elbow there from the bottom. Hammer fist here by an ever-improving juicy A for me. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. 85 total strikes have now landed for Davison Figueredo. And striking at a 63% clip tonight against Juicy A for me. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, Stan. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Doesn't gain top position. What a beautiful takedown. He just waited for one second, and his opponent reacted before he could secure top position. And they separate. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Great punch. 30 seconds to go in round two. Right hand punches the clinch. And now he's got that tight clinch. Oh, there he goes, transitioning to the back in the clinch. Well done. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Why 
So there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. He's hurt! He's hurt! Unbelievable! Oh, Back to the feet! Boom! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got to be the very very bad. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 23 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner, Davis. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and handily knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he could 